But to this time, then the, uh, just the teaching and also preaching and healing. Then the, uh, today, uh, uh, I like to more emphasize uh, like a healing than more like a testimony. Testimony of Jesus Christ. Okay. Kind of testify. Okay. So then the, uh, open up uh, the textbook. This one, um, like a page 22, we're going to start. Okay. Chapter 4. Of page 22, chapter 4, when faith arises, healing flow. That's a big title, but anyway, this is a chapter 4 title. Okay, I, I'm going to just read through, then I like to stop by uh, the certain area, then especially uh, today is focus uh, of uh, uh, test testimony. You know, testify. So one number one, the woman with the issue of blood allowed her faith in the healing power of Jesus to die. Okay. So th that one's actually Book of Mark, chapter five, twenty-five to four thirty-four. So later on, I'm going to read this one. Okay. Then uh, uh, she had been sick for 12 years. Okay, this is a first uh, uh, situation. So what's a lady's situation, condition? She had been sick for 12 years. It's a long time, but 12 years. When she knew she was healed, she testified to Jesus. Okay, so this is a kind of key, key point that is very important. When she knew she was healed, she testified to Jesus Christ. Jairus was listening to the woman testify when the death messenger came and said his daughter was dead. Jairus' faith had raised as he uh, listened to the woman. He only spoke what he believed. Jesus said to him, don't be afraid, only believe. That's what Jesus said. Jesus only let Peter, the bold disciple, James and John, disciple of love. This is the three disciple of Jesus Christ. Peter, Peter. Before Peter, his name was uh, Simon. Okay. Now after that, Jesus said, "Your name gonna be G G uh, Peter." Okay. Peter means uh, like a rock. Okay. So James, his uh, half brother, and John. Disciple John, he is um, most of the, uh, you know, a story, Gospel John he wrote, and also Epistle, first one, and the second, the third one, and the Revelation, Revelation, you know, Book of Revelation, then the John he, he wrote. Yeah, so that's why great, am great amount of the Bible, then the John, Disciple John, he wrote, okay, this one. Okay. So, uh, in, uh, so Jesus only let Peter, James, and John into pray for Jairus. So those, those three people is more like a leader of the, uh, you know, ministry. Jesus is, uh, of course, head. He's a uh, uh, he's a body of Christ, of course, body of Christ. Body, you know, lots of functions like an arm and the leg, and also eyes, ear, you know, 
why why you got the you know those those are the element we have so then the faster than the ear to hear more like a two point to hearing mean is a more dynamic sound we can accept and receive so that's why we got the two like you know uh, uh, stereo speaker, two speaker in the front and the center, okay. So the two speaker, left and right. So you gotta have two speaker to uh, generate the sound, you know. Sensing our human being also. Then just one ear, then the, you know, the sound won't balance. Then two, two ears, then the balance, then the more dynamic sound we can hear. Even the people speak and the talk, they need environmental, mean is another noise, and uh, so kind of important, you know. I'm not expert of the uh, sound mixing and all other stuff, but uh, I can tell two ear to help then the sound more dynamic, and also another another one. Uh, like eye also, two eyes. Only two eye makes this distance, more depth. We call depth of the field, you know. So we can stand up here, then, the, you know, front of the, um, uh, like a camera, and uh, another uh, student to sit the uh, uh, chair, okay. So then I can see more uh, dynamic. You know, dynamic picture, more uh, distance and the near distance, long distance, and the far distance, then the, you know, identify, then the picture become more dynamic, uh, you know, picture I can see. Okay, so that's, uh, I think, good. <clears throat> um, it's very important. Um, you know, carry, of course, then I can carry by one, one book, go like this, like this. But the kind of heavy one, you know, we have to use the two, two arms to, uh, you know, carry the stuff or something. Okay, you you need the two two arm, and the leg, you in order to walk, leg, you know, you have to go one by one. Then two legs actually walk, you know, like another cat or dog, four legs, then maybe better way to run or something but the human being then the kind of minimum but the maximum you know uh, performance so that's why two two legs very important okay so then the, uh, God create our body is very much a perfect way to uh, build you know whole body top of head the bottom the toe you know so thank God. So then um, Jesus, uh, he he actually uh, bring uh, Peter and James and John. Peter, James, and John. Okay. So then come to the place. Then the, his ministry of the healing place. Okay. Then. The, uh, Jairus' uh, daughter uh, was uh, uh, actually dead, okay. So then <clears throat> Jesus laid hand on her, okay. Everybody said, crack, crack, uh, you know, oh, wow, she already dead. That's what the father told, told the disciple and also Jesus. Then uh, Jesus uh, took... Uh, three disciples, uh, you know, Peter, James, and John to the place, okay? Whenever a uh, daughter lay down on the couch, lay down on a table, okay, lay down or on the floor, then Jesus actually showed to the people, you know, more like a testimony of the healing. So then he just come, and already he got the anointing and the power, 
you know. So then he lay on the hand, lay on the hand. Lay on the hand is one of the uh, healing kind of uh, process, okay. So that's why Jesus did the one, you know, lay on the hand, touch the people, the people heal, okay. So that Jesus lay on the hand on her and the uh, damsel raised and walked. Then the, whenever Jesus uh, touched the girl, okay, girl, so that girl then the response then the you know whole thing then the, uh, stand up, okay. So she was healed, okay. That just a day in the life of Jesus. So this was a, every day he teach, preach, and healing. So this is a one of the uh, his his day. Okay, that just a day in the life of Jesus. Jesus is here and he's with you. His healing flow is ready to operate in your life right now. So that's why, you know, Jesus heal me is a, everybody got healed. Everybody received the healing. As long as you received then his uh, uh, word, okay? So Jesus actually touched. Okay, so now uh, to... Uh, testimony I'm gonna just uh, uh, read and share with you okay this one one first one Candy La Flora uh, psalmist she just uh, you know write or uh, sing uh, sound okay received a miraculous healing Page 23. Candy who sings with the Kinescope Ministries, praise team, had popping sound in her ear. She was diagnosed with inner and outer ear infections. There, uh, there was a hole in her eardrum and she needed the surgery, okay? Candy's first word was, I am here. First word, count. Uh, keep putting faith in your heart when everything is fine. Then, when the attack comes, your face will raise and speak. So in other words, then this healing process actually include faith. So in other words, we can call, we can call faith healing. Okay. Whenever you have a faith, I believe God heal me completely. I believe I'm healed. So that's actually confession of the faith. Okay. So that, that's a very, very important then the, uh, I'm going to explain it later, later on or uh, just right, right after this one, okay? So, so uh, she was diagnosed with an inner and the outer ear infection. So then she has an ear, ear problem, inner and the outer. Okay, this one said, inner and outer ear infection. Inside the drum, outside of drum, ear drum, has a problem, infection, okay. So, there was a hole in her ear drum, you know, ear drum, you know that, right? And she needed to surgery. Candy's first word was, I'm healed. She just speak out. Whenever doctor said, okay, you have a problem, the, 
ear drum inside and outside. Then immediately she heard, you know, uh, doctor's uh, comment or something. Then she like a uh, confess. She said, "I'm here because Jesus took my infirmity. I'm here, you know." So that's why she she said, you know, this one. So then, kind of surprising, but the candy was a praying, okay, uh, prayed for in a healing, in a healing service with Brother Copran and Richard Robert. So he he actually went to the uh, ministry at the time then the Copran, Kenneth Copran and Ro uh, Richard Robert. Robert was conducting like a meeting. Okay. She went back to the doctor. Then after that, then she went to went back to the doctor and the hole was still in her eardrum. So after that, then she went to the doctor's office. Just make sure then you know uh, still I have a uh, inner and the outer you know, ear infection and the problem. Then uh, also ear drum uh, was broken, okay? So just make sure, then, then, then. she got uh, so confident anyway, but uh, uh, still I think uh, probably painful or something like that. She received the medical treatment, but her confession didn't change. She, uh, she, you know, uh, got the medical treatment mean is uh, like a clean up inside and also ready for the surgery, you know, eardrum and inner, uh, you know, part of the uh, ear, okay? But still she, she, she received the medical treatment but her confession didn't change. The Lord said my hearing is complete and the whole is completely healed. That's her confession. I believe I'm healed. In a drum, out drum, out, out, you know, drum, uh, healed. Then I'm okay, fine. You know, that's her, her uh, confession. When you've made uh, determination, and you've put faith in it, don't turn off that switch of faith. So her determination, this is a very much detailed healing process, you know, uh, I just uh, show you. Even as she received treatment, treatment in the cleanup, you know, uh, yeah, uh, you know, earwax or anyway, clean up. But the still, her confession still saying, I believe I am healed. She never change, she never switch to the face. Oh, 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 oh I, I can't, I, I, I can't have this kind of condition. Still, I'm in pain, and uh, you know, I don't know who's gonna. Eat fix this one and uh, or, or, or uh, uh, muttering, okay? Then the heart, you know, like a com complaint in the, that one. But the, she is still strong confession and uh, she stand up word of God. So that's why in spite of the pain or uh, something uh, symptoms or a doctor said or a nurse said everything but uh, still her face never change still keep going she said I'm healed you know by Jesus stripes I'm healed okay Jesus took my infirmity I'm healed so that's why she she can stand in the face okay Candy told the doctor, when I come back in a few months, 
the whole will be completely gone and I will be completely healed. What a confession. She went to the doctor's office, some treatment. Then she told the doctor, few months later, I come back. I make an appointment, I come back. At the time, I believe I'm completely healed my eardrum as well as the infection. That's what she told. This is a very strong com confession. Okay. So then uh, when we returned to the doctor after a few months, when, when she returned to the doctor, he confirmed you don't need surgery. What a miracle happened. She was completely healed. That's what the doctor said. Doctor said, whatever you said a few months ago, you're going to be okay here. So now I examined your ear, you know, you know, deeper than, uh, you know, uh, surface, okay. Then she, uh, doctor check the whole ear, eardrum is completely healed. And also infections gone, you know. So this is a, uh, one of the testimony, you know, testimony by Jesus stripes. Jesus took all infirmity, I am healed. So that's why she depend on the Jesus he. Jesus heal her, you know. Whenever she come out her mouth, then the confession of the faith, then the, she got the heal. Okay. Second testimony, Jerry Savell has a magnificent testimony of divine healing. I believe this was a few years ago. Then the Jerry Savell, he is an evangelist. He got, uh, uh, you know, uh, big uh, physical and mental problem. So let's read page 24. As a uh, recommendation of uh, physicians, he had the surgery to remove plaque from his artery, okay, artery. So doctor said, okay, you gotta have, uh, you know, you should have uh, uh, surgery. So number one, then plaque, you know, something happened in your uh, teeth, you know, area, you know, jam inside your mouth, okay. So then the artery, then the <clears throat> big artery, uh, like head to, you know, down there, you know, big one, two of them, this one, you know. So something plug, you know, so uh, you gotta, you know, you need a surgery or something like that. During the surgery, he had a stroke and lost his memory. He didn't know his wife, wife's name, Caroline, and the children. And he lost the total use of his right arm and right leg, totally paralyzed. The biblical account of the woman with the issue of the blood became more real to him. He preached gospel, he knows the Bible. Then, you know, one of the lady who 12 years issue of the blood, 12 years issue of the blood, like a pain, and also not look good. And also she lost everything. You know, like a beside the pain and everything. So that kind of situation she had, almost homeless because nothing left, then everything. Pay a doctor's office, 
doctor, you know, another doctor, another doctor, another hospital, you know. She just pay even the last penny, you know, pay. So she become totally broke, you know. So then she become like a homeless. So, you know, she, uh, Jerry Sabre used to preach about her from the Bible. But now situations, he's a minister, he go all over the world, but the leg, he got a paralyzed, he can't move very well. Then, you know, then also pain, you know, pain and heart and everything. At the time, he understood how much suffer of her. Like Jerry's case, then Jerry Saber's case, he goes all over the you know, world and preach gospel, but now he can go. So how do you feel, you know, that kind of situation? Can't go, can't talk, and you know, he can't remember even the wife's name and the children's name. That's much, you know, screwed up and the whole body and the mentally, physically. That's the situation. So uh, he did. He didn't know his wife's name, children's name, and he lost the total use of his leg, uh, right arm, and the right leg. The biblical account of the woman with the issue of the blood become more real to him, more real to him, after he lost the leg arm and also memory then the, you know so brother Jerry couldn't talk but he had a faith in his heart he knew he would be made whole in spite of the all the pain and everything but the inside of him word of God, word of God still operates Word of God still talking to Jerry. You are okay. You, you're going to be okay. You are healed by Jesus Christ. Jesus healed you. All inside his uh, heart, then full of uh, then faith, you know. So, so that's another, like healing and testimony is very, very important, okay. So uh, he went home and, uh, you know, he knew he would be made whole. Isn't that incredible? Even the pain and the so crazy, everything. But the, he, his inside, deep inside the say, inside the spirit to say, so he said, it's going to be okay. You be healed, you know be made whole everything okay you know that's what this one said he went home then the final he went home even that you know paralyzed and the uh, arm and the leg and the memory and everything he went to home okay the healing and the recovery started immediately Whenever he goes, start healing, little by little, but start healing immediately. Mean is a direction of he just lay on the lay on the bed and the pain, pain and couldn't move. Uh, you know, right arm and leg, but like I said, inside of spirit. You know, say, I'm healed. Okay. Brother Jerry went to his car museum. He got the car museum, all the, you know, style car. Then he put all the, you know, like a warehouse. Okay. 
his car, uh, car museum determined to start every vehicle in there. He started the car, each one of the, I don't know how many, 20 or 30 cars in a warehouse, okay? Every start, every vehicle in there with a uh, paralyzed in his arm and leg. It was very difficult to make the older vehicle start, but he did it. It's very difficult because a paralyzed arm, you know, right arm. Normally turn on the engine, engine, like a key, like this. It's not so easy to move, you know, this one. Then also he can he, he can get in the car easily. Then the very difficult. Take time, but the very difficult. Then after he, he sit down and uh, you know somebody bring a key, then the turn on this kind of motion is very difficult. Okay, uh, like uh, polarize the people. Okay. Then, uh, but the still he did. He had the 20 or 30 cars, all car turned on, you know, engine. Still, he got the power line, you know, this one. As he left the garage, he took the key to the door and with uh, his right hand, locked the garage, okay? Then after that, he just uh, uh, turned off each one of the cars, Okay, 20 or 30 cars, then shut off. Then he got trying to get out, you know, get out the uh, car museum. Then, uh, as he left the garage, he took the key to the door and with his right hand, lock, lock the uh, garage. So then the, he, you know, uh, trying to get out, then he got the key, then the key, he just locked the door, door, very difficult, not different key, you know, car like this, but now lock the, lock, lock the, you know, warehouse or uh, whatever, garage, then, then, uh, uh, after, after lock the garage, garage also room, okay, car, car, you know, every car stop, you know, shut off the switch and get out in the room and lock the warehouse or garage, uh, storage room or whatever he did, okay. Immediately, his arm, leg, speech and the memory were normal. Can you imagine? After he did everything, in spite of difficulty, but he did this one, okay? He did all, all this one by faith. He, he believed inside, inside his uh, uh, spirit said, I can do it. I can do it. I can do all things through Jesus Christ, you know? Like he just confession. Then stop. You know, previous like a candy, same thing. Candy also then a very difficult, uh, you know, situation because the doctor said still you have an infection, but still she keeps saying, "I believe, doctor, I'm healed." You know, her confession of the faith is very hard. Jerry Sabel also same thing. Then even the you know, uh, after lock, the, I mean, uh, shut off the car, 20, 30, can you imagine? It's, it's not so easy to get out, and, uh, you know, get in and shut off, get in, shut off the power. So, so very difficult, but he did. You know, this is our kind of faith. You know, Jesus taught Jerry and the candy, okay, this one. But anyway, after lock, uh, I mean, uh, shut off the key, uh, shut off the car, you know, turn off the key, turn off the car, and 
lock the garage door, everything, then immediately after that, his arm, leg, and speech, and memory, then come back right, right, right away, okay? Then become normal. Jerry Savell was totally distorted. Arm, leg, memory, distorted, okay? The first scripture he remembered was the memory of the upright is blessed. Can you imagine the first word he come? He got the one. Proverbs 10, verse 7. The memory of the upright is blessed. That's, that's the first word he got. Within two weeks, yeah, of course, recuperate and rest that two weeks. But to see what's happening. Within two weeks, Brother Jerry was traveling around the world. After two weeks later, he traveled around the world, okay, preaching three services a day in the four different nations. Can you imagine? So this is a testimony of Jesus Christ because Jesus healed the Jerry Sabbath and also candy, both. So that's what Jesus actually taught, you know, people at the Gali and also Capernaum, Jerusalem, he taught teaching, preaching, and healing. So then one of the uh, guys, this was uh, Jerry Sabel, he is also a disciple of the Jesus Christ, meaning is that he proclaimed and uh, Jesus is a Lord, Jesus is a healer, Jesus is a Savior. You know, he proclaimed then the people, then the people get healed, people deliver deliver lands from the evil spiritual, you know, all kinds of things happen. So now, chapter 5, okay, believe your covenant promise of healing, okay, this is a very important, we understand and the healing, still we are talking about number 3, healing testimony, this one, okay. Today, as you listen to the teaching and the studying these notes, you are improved in healing school. Jesus is a teacher. So that's why once we join Jesus, his class, then we join then, then the healing school. Healing school, teaching school, preaching school, okay? The presence of the Lord Jesus is here wherever you are. Miracles will be done here in the name of Jesus. Praise and honor Jesus. Miraculous things happen when you praise. You know, this one's a very uh, you know, uh, marvelous uh, you know, things happen in your life, you know. So then the praising God means the healing take place because give thanks to the Lord, the same thing. If you give thanks to the Lord, meaning that thanksgiving if you give thanksgiving to the Lord, it means a reflect His power come to you, healing body and healing soul, you know, both sides, okay? So that's why thanksgiving is very important. 
Thank God. You know, thank you, God. That's very important to confess. Okay. Yeah. So then the uh, Bishop David uh, Oidugo in uh, Lagos, Nigraga uh, said, when we pray, we enter into the God's presence. When we pray, He enter into our, our hours, for He inhibit, inhabit the praises of His people. There is a healing in the praise. Don't wait to praise Him. Continually praise the Lord. So that's why very important. This is a, a word of God is alive. This one, okay. So that's why. Uh, so this each word works. Doesn't matter. Two thousand years ago, one thousand years ago. Now doesn't matter because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, forever. Meaning he's alive. He's alive. So that's why. You know, you you uh, you don't worry about like a date. This is a very old book, like a King James book, you know, version. This one, this one's version, the sixteen eleven. You know, almost three four hundred years years ago. So translated in English. So this is still alive. You know, how many years? You know, like 400 years, okay, 410 years, still alive and well and very much strong, okay. Christians need, number two, Christians need to be covenant minded all the time. So, this is what's actually this mean is Ephesians 2 11 to 12, uh, 12 this one. Covenant minded all the time in the, this is a covenant of God. This is a promise of God. This was never change. All the time works. So that's why Bible is very unique book. Then also very much clearly to explain the whole, uh, you know, whole, whole thing. Whenever you ask, whenever scientists ask question to the Bible answer, whenever socialist, you know, people uh, ask a question, and whenever ordinary people, wife and the husband, mother and the father, grandmother, grandfather, whenever ask a question, you know, this Bible got the answer. Because this is a miracle book and also divine book and God involved in this book. So that's why recently, uh, you know, very important one because uh, uh, February 2000 to 2021, okay, actually next month, United States of America, NASA group, okay, NASA group actually send, send, send the rocket to the Mars, okay, so how many days spent to the Mars? Six months, so that's why last July already launched, okay, then go to the total, total Mars. And the land mass, and the justice, you know, collect the sample. Then the bring back uh, four years later, another rocket went go to the mass, and the pick up then the stuff whenever uh, left, uh, you know, left over. Then they also collected all the soil and uh, another material. Then they bring it back to the earth. So then the a scientist actually check, then the, you know uh, when when actually 
Mars was born or something like that, such a long distance. But can you imagine? Bible really said, this is a divine Bible said, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, look at this one. God create, God himself talk about this world. He said, chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, heaven, the heavens and earth. Another one, God himself created Mars, earth, and the you know, sun and the moon. Everything he created in the beginning, you know. So then that's a, that's a, you know, great, uh, remarkable statement. Then, uh, Psalm chapter 33, book of Psalm, chapter 30, 33, verse 6 said, okay. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of the mouth. So another word, let be the light, the same thing. Let be the earth, let be the mouth, let be the sun, let be the moon, their words, sun, mouth, earth then everything, then created. Whatever God spoke out, you know, spoke out, it, it's there. Same thing in lights, same thing. Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, verse, verse 3 said, And God said, God said, whatever He said, He said, okay, let there be light. There was light. Let, be, let, let there be a light. There was a light. Same thing. Let there be a uh, earth. There was earth. Let there be light. And there was a light. Let there be the uh, earth. There was uh, earth. Let there be Sun, there was sun, something like that. Okay, so whatever he talk, okay, he talk, what, 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 speak out, there was there. You know, that's God, God, of course, God the power, then the Holy Spirit actually walk in this one. But the same thing that the sun, that world is the same word like this one. Because this is, I just read Psalm 33, verse 6, you know, said, okay, that the mouth of the God, whatever he said, okay, he said, mean the word of God, okay, they are there, okay. So, so, uh, like, a, like, a, you know, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, mean is more like we are talking about the universe, big and huge. In the spread, you know, this uh, uh, universe is spread, spread by the speed of the light, spreading, spreading, spreading now, you know, you know. So that's one, that's one, okay, yeah. So then, the, you know, every word God spoke, there was universe and also human being. Let's make a, like a human being. So this one's uh, uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 20, 26, this one. Six day, God created man. And God said, let us make man in our image. Our image means is a God, Jesus, Father God, Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit. God, power, power, Holy, Holy Spirit. So that's why our image, not 
not one image, Father image, Son image, Holy Spirit image. No, let us make man in our image. Means the all God, the three Trinity God image to make human being. After our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the foil of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every cre creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God actually created everything through his mouth. So that mouth actually speak, and somebody write down this one, print it down. So this was the same like our covenant, promise. What about God, God, what God said, then the promise of the God. So that's why believe your covenant, the promise of healing in is uh, by Jesus stripes. Jesus, G Jesus took our infirmity, we are healed. Thank God. This one. So that's why healing actually takes place. Because he's a covenant of God. Because he's a promise of God. This one. Okay. That's very, very interesting one. Okay. Christians need to be covenant-minded all the time. You know, number two, page 26. So that's why Christians should be, should, should be covenant of the God. Whatever God's God covenant say, mean the word of God say, that's yours. You just take it, receive it, do something. Okay? This one. People use uh, agreement and uh, contract in a business if there's a question they go back to the uh, contract which is a covenant so sometimes then the people don't remember the every co uh, co covenant I mean a contract so this is a co covenant you know, said everything. This is a promise for you, everything, this one. But you can't remember, you can't uh, know then everything. So that's why always go back to the Bible, okay? Same thing a contractor, go back to the contract, you know, contract the original book, okay? So same thing. So that's why every time we don't understand, then go back to the Bible. Okay? Then the Bible tells you everything. So then the, that's why God, uh, you know, Jesus said, study, learn, you know, learn from the Bible. Then you can get, the, you know, His promise and the content of the Bible, everything. Okay? So that's, that's what uh, uh, number two, Christians need to be covenant-minded all the time. People use argument and uh, contract in the businesses. If just like a contract, then, you know, same thing with this one, okay? Which is a covenant. You might break the contract, but you can't break the covenant uh, let it for you in the blood. The Bible is a covenant. It is an answer to everything. So another word, Bible is a covenant book, this one. God never changed. Same thing Jesus is the same yesterday, today, forever. Same thing this Bible never changed. Bible is the same yesterday, today, forever. No matter what's a different, uh, you know, government, different president, different authorities, 
you know, but the still Bible is the same, same like yesterday, today, and forever. Even the different present come, but the still same. You know, Bible stand up, then very strong. Okay, you can't destroy this one. Bible never change. We change. You know, government change. We change. But the Bible never, God never change. So that's why uh, since uh, uh, 1611, this Bible is alive till now, okay. till tomorrow, forever. Okay. Now, page 27. God is in covenant with you, not the other way alone. There is a blood between God and you. The covenant can never be changed. Okay, the covenant, promise, God promised. Bible, never change. It is forever. You have a covenant of healing, salvation, deliverance, guidance, leadership, help, and prosperity. God's word and God are exactly the same. God is exactly the same. His name can do anything his word can do. The Jews had the covenant of the promise from their father Abraham. Okay, if God's name change, okay, like I said, God's name is the same yesterday, today, forever. Jesus' name is the same. Jesus' blood is the same. Okay. Jesus' name changed. If something doesn't work, meaning the healing, healing of Jehovah Rapha, okay. So that's name, you know, has to change because Jesus is a healer, you know, doesn't work, his name. God Father is a he healing business, healer. So then we have to change his name. No way you can change his name. He's still same healing business. So he heals the people. He teaches us uh, uh, kingdom, okay, same. And the kingdom of heavens never change, okay. So that's why very important. And God never change in is uh, still keep going, healing business, teaching business, preaching business. Okay. God word and God are exactly the same. His name can do anything his word can do. The Jews had the covenant of the promise from their father Abraham. Jewish people actually received the covenant through the uh, covenant mean a promise of the God through the Abraham. Abraham the one then he met the God and uh, he actually talked to the God. He received the covenant of God. Yeah. Chapter 17, Genesis chapter 17. We will just look at okay. what's actually happening, uh, happened, uh, you know, Abraham. Abraham, you know, of course he believed God, but he doesn't know exactly what his name. Name mean is what he himself. Okay, this one. So then the Chapter 17, this was almost like 2,000 years ago, before, years before that Jesus was born. So that's why almost 4,000, maybe uh, 3,000 uh, 80 some, or 90 years or something like that, okay. Almost like a 1,900, you know, not exactly 
age, but 1900 plus 2000, so uh, 3900 9, 3, years ago, what's happening? So Abraham finally, he got the one, you know, chapter 17. And when Abraham was 90 years old, and nine, 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect. In other words, God himself, he introduced in front of the Abraham, who am I? Then he said, I am almighty, you know, almighty God. Okay, so that this almighty, almighty means, uh, uh, you know, El Shaddai, that's it, uh, Hebrew word. So Jesus, God himself, Father God himself, introduced himself, okay. He himself, then the almighty God. So then the Abraham realized who he is, almighty God. You know, just one God, almighty God. You know, so he introduced this one. So that's a, you know, G, G, uh, uh, this this one said the covenant promise Almighty God promise you the covenant and the process through this one. Okay, this one. Number uh, uh, two. Okay. Number two, take communion seriously. This is my blood and um, my body, which is broken, page 27, broken for you. This is my blood in the new covenant. All of you drink from it. Brother Copeland received the communion almost every day to announce his uh, participations in the covenant. So then the uh, communion service means they realize his blood, Jesus his blood means mean is a new testament, new promise, you know, new uh, 27 you know, books this one. So this is a very much uh, important. You know, book of uh, uh, Corinthian, Corinthian. Let's take a look at the Corinthian chapter, chapter eleven. Corinthian chapter eleven. We're gonna read this one. Okay, this is a Jesus established new covenant, new promise for you. Okay. Like a verse uh, 24, chapter 11, verse 24. And when he had given thanks to thanks, he uh, break it and said, break the bread and said, take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had uh, supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament, New Covenant. Okay, in my blood, this do ye as often as you drink it in. Remembrance of me. Another word, Old Testament, I 
I just explained a couple minutes ago. El Shaddai means is the Almighty God to take care of you. Okay, promise. You know, this one. What about the New Testament? New Testament, Jesus himself told, this is a New Testament. Okay. So then you just, you know, realize what the New Testament looks like. All the New Testament, the Word of God, seek ye kingdom of God, righteousness, first, all things add unto you. So in other words, if you seek kingdom of God from this Bible, okay, then you are okay. But the first you seek kingdom of God, Okay. Then all other things given unto you, whatever you need, other stuff. Okay. Just, uh, just uh, simply, uh, like uh, I need a car, I need a house, I need a family, and uh, you know whatever you say, you know, you your desire. But first, keep seeking kingdom of God, righteousness. What's the kingdom of God? You mean the Jesus. Okay. So that's why first seek kingdom of God means first seek Jesus Christ. Okay. Then all other life things give unto you. That's the promise of the Bible. Then also uh, Apostle Paul said, uh, you know, he said, my God, while he was in a prison, he said, confess, you know, written this one, book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 29, chapter 4, 29, said, while, while he was in a prison, he said, my God, supply all my need according to riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Through Christ Jesus. That's very important. Everything provides you through the Christ Jesus. Okay. So that's kind of confession and faith and, uh, you know, help you to understand. So then, uh, uh, you know, going on the page. So then I, I explained to you guys in quite a bit, but now uh, next chapter, this is very important. So another, we have another four classes today, included today, another three class after, right after this class, okay. But the, uh, I think, uh, last another three you know classes then you know still continuously we are studying uh, ministry you know practice so then uh, our our life is a very very important you know subject this one teaching of the Christ preaching of Christ, healing of Christ. Very important, this one. So then, uh, I think I jump in uh, page 31 and uh, chapter 6. God is your source for everything you need. Wow, that's a big subject, this one. But we need it. We need it, this one. And we need it. This one's a Ministry of practice means practical study of the you know Bible. So that's why this was very important. Page 31 said, God is your source, your source for everything you need. God is the source. So in other words, like a, just a minute ago, I said, seek ye 
kingdom of God, righteousness. Seek Jesus Christ, kingdom of God. Okay, first, then the all other stuff, then the give to you and to you. Let's read this one. Matthew, church, book of Matthew. Okay, now uh, very much excitement portion of the study in this one. Chapter 6, verse 33. Book of Matthew, Saint, book of Ma Saint Matthew, chapter 6, 33. But the seek ye first the kingdom of God. What the kingdom of God mean is the Jesus. His, his kingdom. Jesus become later on, you know, Jesus become King of King, Lord of Lord. He is Almighty God and He heal us for us. Okay. 33, verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added on unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient into the day is the evil therefore thereof. So chapter six, Matthew book of Matthew, chapter six, verse three, third verse thirty-three is so extreme promise. And uh, uh, this is a great scripture, this one. Take, you know, uh, first first uh, seek. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, the righteousness. You know, the God Himself then show order. Which ones you do, which one second, which one third, or something like that. So this scripture is very clearly said, seek ye kingdom of God, the righteousness first. First, okay. Jesus first. Everything Jesus first. Teaching Jesus, preaching of Jesus, healing of Jesus. So everything, testimony, Jesus. Okay. So Jesus, everything Jesus first. Everything kingdom of God first. And his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Then the people worry about then the, you know at the time pe people were I need this one, I need this one, me, 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 you know, something like that. But this one said uh, you know God is your your source of the everything you need. So just add the word of God uh, chapter uh, Matthew, book of Matthew, chapter 6, 33. Okay, chapter 6, the only source of supply. Well, the only source of supply. Chapter 6, we are studying this. First Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 6. God is our source. Okay, let's take a look at the chapter 8. Chapter 8. But, uh, First Corinthians chapter eight. Okay, First Corinthians chapter six. After after the book of Romans, eight six. But to us. There is but one God, the Father, of, of whom are all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, 
by whom are all things, things, and we by him. What a promise of what this one. But verse six, eight, verse six. You know, said say the, the Lord Jesus Christ by the whom are all things and we by him. So, you know, this one said, God is your source, meaning is the only source. That's what this one said. Okay. So many people are facing overwhelming financial challenges. You know, last year, New York Times uh, asked, you know, kind of survey to the people, what's the most worry about situation? What's, what's the most uh, scary part of your life? You know, so then the number one people's number one then all majority people anyway. Number one, finance, you know, situation. So people say, think then, okay, I'm okay, I have food or something like that. But the inside, most worry and the scary part of your life, then the people say finance situation. And the secondly, like a body, like, uh, you know, worry about my health or something like that. So first one, the finance situation. I worry about when I can get paycheck next, next, next one. When I can get the job. What about the, you know, situation in this kind of economy or something. So this was a before pandemic, you know, coronavirus pandemic could start. Before that, most people worry about the number one. Now I think it changed, but the, at the time worry about then the finance, like money-wise, you know, worry about number one, finance. Number two is health. Okay, number two, health. So now I think this year, especially last year, 2020, I think number one people worry about then the, uh, you know, health here. When, when I get the infection, infection of the uh, coronavirus pandemic, you know, situation or something, people worry about then the health. That's number one, I think last year, like two, 2020, okay. But the before, 2020, 2019, 18, or whatever, finance situation that most people worry about, scary part. Now, this year, health, you know, situation is the number one people worry about the scare, scary, you know, kind of fear more, you know, something like that. So we talk about then the you know uh, this this uh, class then the God is your source. You think God you know people eliminate God uh, you know uh, medicine is your source or doctor is your source or institute you know hospital is your source. No, this. Subject to this one, God is your source for everything you need. So chapter 6, the only source of supply in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. God is our source. Okay. So page 31 still. So many people are facing overwhelming finance challenge in the two years ago. They look at their paycheck, then look at their need and wonder, how are we going to pay for this? Where will the money come from? What 
are we going to do this kind of questions in all the time you know now you you just put this one so they took their health then look at their uh, knee and wonder how are we going to health for this sickness for this where will the uh, health uh, healthy you know like uh, insurance come from what are we going to do don't look to the government for your supply so we have to focus to the more like a finance situations okay this time don't look to the government for your supply don't look to other people for your supply no no pastors don't look to your congregations for your supply jesus is our source the blessing of abraham is our supply the word is our supply word from the lord through the tennis copeland november 11 2010 what actually he said yeah yet for for us there is only one god the father who is a source of all things the purpose of this supply is to renew our mind and become fully persuaded that god is our source for everything we need philippians 4 19 god riches in glory page 20 uh, 32 but my god shall supply all your need according to his riches in the glory by christ jesus another translation and my god will give you all your heart need of from the wealth of his glory in christ jesus another message tra translation said you can be sure that God will take care of everything you need. Another translation. My God will supply all that you need from this glorious resource, resources in Christ Jesus. Rick Raymer, Raymer, Raymer <coughs> translation. But my God will supply your need so completely that he will eliminate all your uh, deficiencies he will meet all your uh, physical and tangible need until you are so full you uh, have uh, no more capacity to hold anything else he will supply all your need until you are totally filled, uh, packed, full, and overwhelming to the point of uh, bursting at the uh, seams and spilling over. So this is a very interesting, especially Rick Rust, uh, his translation. He is a uh, a pastor of the uh, church in uh, ch church in uh, Russia. Okay, uh, so then his translations are more accurate and close to the Greek because he knows Greek. He he's very very expert of the Greek. Okay, so that's why he translated in a very beautiful in the marvelous way to, to, to do this one okay so james 1 17 our supply from the heaven james the book of james chapter 1 17 our supply from the heaven every good gift and every perfect 
uh, free large food gift is uh, from above. It comes down from the Father of all light. Every good endowment that we possess and every complete gift that we have received must come from the above, from the Father of all light, okay, with whom there is never the slightest variation or shadow of inconsistency. Deuteron Deuteronomy 28, 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven, his storehouse in heaven, his own well stock uh, storehouse. Message translation said, God will throw open the door of his sky value. Heaven always has a good economy that is where we receive from. It doesn't matter what is happening in the earth, we are not receive, receiving it from the earth, we are receiving it from heaven. Okay. So Psalm 1 to 1, verse 2, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So this is a covenant of God. You know, we just pick up then the Old Testament, the New Testament, whenever, you know, we, we got that this one. And uh, <clears throat> very, very important thing, things, the Word of God. Then continuously I'm teaching, uh, look at the Lord, your provider, you know. God is a, your source. And, uh, you know, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, 6, same thing. God is our source. Now that's chapter 7. So then the chapter 8, God is looking to bless his people. Okay. So then that's 2 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. The very interesting one. Then chapter 9 says, The blessing empowers you to prosper. Okay, this was also nice. Chapter 10, last one. We're trying to, you know, finish the, all this material. Chapter 10, claim what you need. Wow, that's another good stuff. So anyway, continuously we are studying the, the ministry practice more practical way, okay? So then especially this year, 2021, is very much a then crazy world. Then financially, people lost job and, uh, you know, seeking job and, uh, you know, like a middle uh, business and closed down retail stores closed down and also restaurants closed down and everything closed down you know in a city especially Los Angeles and New York then the tremendous amount of the you know debts in other words people uh, people need uh, help then financial matter so that's why uh, ministry practice we are talking about then the finance, you know, financially, then the God is a source. God provides. So then, the, you know, what, what of God, this one said, uh, First Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6, and also Philippians chapter 4, 19. My God, my God, my God supply 
all our need, all our need, like uh, maybe food and rent the house and uh, you know other expenses and God supply my God. My God.